Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So as you're getting into the industry, there's going to be like a lot of phrases and terms that you probably never even heard before that's going to be thrown out. Um, so today I just wanted to make a quick video of the top terms and lingo that's used in the modeling industry and what you need to do to prepare. So stay tuned. And as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, like this information, share it, subscribe to the page because each week I'm going to be dropping some new nuggets of information that you may be familiar with, you may not be familiar with, but I'm going to supply to you anyway. So we'll be knowing what's going on in the industry. So keep coming back and I'll keep supplying you that good info. So let's get to it. And just so it's easier for you guys to follow along, I'll just put them in alphabetical order. All right, so the first term is gonna be body ready. So what does this mean? This basically means that your uh, your hygiene is on point and your body is ready to be shot. That means you've been putting in work in the gym, you've been watching a diet, uh, you've been getting enough uh, rest, make sure everything on your face is uh, clear, any, any, any pimples, any uh, discolorations, everything is ready for you to uh, go ahead and put out a great product. The next term that we've heard all before is going to be book. And that's really just going to be your collection of images, you know, that you've uh, compiled over a certain amount of time as long as you've been in the game. Uh, your clients are going to look at your book to determine if you're going to be a right fit for whatever campaign that they're shooting. Uh, so your book is basically just your resume. Now, from your book of images, you will get a booking. A booking just means that you won the job, that they're, they're hiring you for the job. Now, after you have this job and for whatever reason you're unavailable, these are gonna be what's called your book out date. See, uh, these are basically the dates that you're unavailable to work and you'll need to tell your, your agent uh, when you're unable to work or, or to go to castings and things like that. So let's say, for example, that you're a college student, you know that you have finals up, you know, from uh, mid, mid May all the way to the end of the May. So that's going to be your book out period from mid May until you finish up finals at the end of the May. This next term is one of my favorites. That's going to be a bonus. This is just extra money that's gonna be paid to the model outside of their daily uh, rate or their hourly rate, depending on how they're paid. Um, and, and this is basically allocated more so towards like larger projects, like if you're on a billboard, if you did a commercial, uh, and it's gonna be running for a certain period of time, um, your bonus or usage, that's another term that they may uh, interchangeably use, um, you're gonna keep getting paid outside of uh, the actual time that you took to actually do the job. So bonuses, Good thing. All right, sticking with those Bs, the next one is gonna be buyout. So it's basically when the, the client pays extra money so that they can basically use the ad that you, you model for uh, for forever. So they'll, they'll basically just purchase uh, the, the ad for themselves or the usage of the ad for themselves. That means uh, more money's being paid to the agency, which means more money's being paid to you. Transition into the Cs. The first one's gonna be callback. Uh, callbacks are just uh, when the client wants to see you again. So when you go into the original casting call, uh, this is a good thing. You know, that means you made it past the first round of considerations from the client. And if they uh, they call you back, that means that they want to see you again for stronger consideration. So we've heard about body ready. This next one is going to be camera ready. Uh, so that just means that you're, uh, you're already in wardrobe. That means that your makeup's already done. And when the photographer is ready to start shooting you, that means you're already ready to go and you're ready to be in front of the camera. Our next term is going to be a casting or go see. So just when the model goes in to see the, uh, the agency or the client uh, for, for an upcoming job or opportunity. And so, you know, since we're in a pandemic now, that could either be virtually um, and to a lesser degree uh, in person still. All right, so the next one is going to be check availability. This is basically just when your, your bookers want to know if you're available uh, uh, for upcoming jobs and opportunities and things like that. Think about it as being the uh, exact opposite of a book out date. All right, next term, sticking with these C's, is going to be clients. I think we are we all know what clients are, but in case you didn't know, they're just the, the company or the ad agency that is uh, going through the agency to book models for their upcoming uh, project. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it, but you know, comp cards. Now comp cards, you know, before the pandemic, um, they were starting to die out a little bit because things are becoming more digital. Uh, but your comp cards are basically just um, the images uh, that you have uh, as, a, as, a, as a calling card or, or you know, kind of like, a, yeah, like a, like a card that you leave to a client after you go uh, to a casting. Normally on a comp card, it's going to have like one of your strongest uh, headshot images uh, on the front of the car, and then it's going to have uh, three to five images of strong, you know, 
strong pictures of you uh, on the back as well. It's kind of going to be like in a storyboard spread, and it's going to have your your uh, your measurements, your your height, your eyes, uh, waist, pants length, suit uh, suit jacket for guys, uh, hair color, all that good stuff. Skipping a gang of, of letters, uh, we're going to go to the O's. So the next term is going to be on hold. Uh, this is basically where uh, the client is strongly considering you for um, the upcoming job and your, your agent, they're going to want to uh, let you know that you're on hold. So they're going to need to know your availability and if it's in alignment with uh, when that client is trying to shoot that for that project. Another term that may seem uh, painfully obvious is going to be released. Uh, so when you're released, that just means that you're no longer considered for a job. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll get an email or a phone call, you know, your booker will kind of tell you, okay, hey, look, they, they went ahead with uh, A, B, and C option, uh, you know, better, better, better luck next time. This next one is huge, guys. So uh, each time you go onto um, a project or you got booked for a job, you're going to need to sign what's called a release form. And this is basically just the paperwork that gives the client or the photographer full usage rights to that photo or video for a given amount of time. So you want to be clear on um, what it says in the release form. Um, if it may conflict with other projects that you may have coming up, uh, let's say it's for a competitor brand uh, that you may be considered for, um, you may need to talk to your agent and kind of ask them, okay, well, what, what, what certain terms mean within the release form if you don't understand yourself? I really, really like this next term. This next term is what we call request. So basically this means that uh, the client uh, handpicked certain models from the agency to see. And that kind of cuts out all the riffraff. Like uh, you don't, it's really sucky as a model to go to what we call cattle calls where there's, you know, uh, 50, 60, 70 models at, at, at a casting where they're only gonna choose like uh, maybe a handful of models. Uh, just cuts out a lot of the riffraff and uh, you know, the client just kind of gets to who they wanna see. And then obviously that's gonna increase your chances of actually booking the job. Right, going on to the T's, the next one is gonna be a tear sheet, which is just gonna be a hard copy of whatever project that you you uh, that you completed. So uh, for example, if you had a, a magazine ad and you had like a three page spread, those are what's gonna be called tear sheets. This next one should be common for uh, even the, the, the models who, who aren't in the game yet, but if you've just been out, uh, you know, doing your, your due diligence. Uh, so it's gonna be test shoot, uh, AKA trade for print. Those are both kind of interchangeable in the industry. Uh, so that, that's basically where you get with a photographer as a model. Uh, you guys, there's no money, uh, uh, generally, there's no money being exchanged, but uh, you guys both benefit. So you're getting to shoot with a photographer who's probably getting into the industry themselves, or maybe they're a college uh, photographer. Uh, they're just getting work uh, to build up their portfolio. And then if the images come out uh, dope, then you get great images uh, and to use for your book uh, for free. So let me rewind. So trade for print, those are generally free. But tests, test shoots, uh, sometimes the photographer does ch charge a fee, um, but it's not always the case. But uh, you know, if you're wanting certain sorts, a certain level of photography in your portfolio, uh, there are some photographers that are gonna charge a fee. So you just kind of reach out to them, ask them what their rates are, and then you can go ahead and book a session. This last term is kind of a sucky one for the model. Um, and that's what's called first rights of refusal. And I'll kind of break in uh, break down in detail what, what that means. All right, so this is basically when a model has been put on hold uh, for one job, but then there's another job being offered to them on that same exact day. The thing with that is, is the, the person who put the model on hold, uh, meaning the first client who offered you the, the job, uh, they have the first right of re refusal, so you have no say-so in it. So you're basically stuck in limbo as a model because you don't have any say so. Uh, that first client either has the, the uh, they have the right to either release you, meaning uh, let you go from that job or to, to take you on. But meanwhile, you don't know. So the second job that you're, you know, that you can be considered for that was given to you on that same day, uh, that's that's in limbo. You don't you don't know. It's really things are really going to be predicated on what that first client does. So you're really stuck in the middle. All right, guys, so those are the commonly used uh, terms and lingo that's in the industry. Let me know if you've heard these terms before. Um, if there is uh, some new ones that you learned today, hopefully there were. Uh, you can give me some uh, feedback. Leave comments in the comment section. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.